Hello friends, Satyendra here and in this video, let's design a spanner in Creo Parametric. So let's get started. So this is the spanner. So to design this, we will use sketch region. So first we will draw the sketch and then we'll create the part. And to do this, let's start with a new file. So go to the new part, solid, assign the proper name and say OK. Now to create this sketch, go to the sketch, onto the front datum plane, sketch, normal, switch off all the datums. Now to create this sketch, First you place the center lines somewhere here and here. And then you go for sketch point, place the point here and then you go for mirror with this reference. Now place the dimension. So from here till here, this is 280. Now one more time, you place the center lines. One is here and another one is here. Both should be parallel. Now the dimension. So this angle is 15 degree. Now once this is done, go with circle. So draw a circle from somewhere here. This is radius 54. One more circle, just like this, this is radius 58, then the last circle, again from here, this is radius 25, Now the gap between this and this is 25. Now go to delete segment and delete these segments. Now add some rounds. So one is here and another one is here. Make these two equal. This is radius 29, then draw a line, just like this, make it parallel, then select this line and go for mirror with this reference. Then once again go to delete segment and delete these segments. Then delete this segment and this segment. One more time round. One is here and another one is here. Make these two equal. Now this is radius 10. Then the gap between these and this is 46. Then draw a line from here, normal, mirror it with this reference. Then go to delete segment, delete this segment, this segment, this segment and this segment. Then from here till here, this is 46. So this side is done, now this side. So start with circle. This is radius 23, 
then one more circle this is radius 56 and then the third circle which is from here and this is radius 50 then go to the delete segment and delete these segments now add some rounds one is here another one is here make it equal now this is radius 26 then draw the line let it be parallel now go for mirror with this reference go to delete segment delete this segment this segment this segment this one and this one one more time round here and here make it equal now first you make it parallel so this line should be parallel with this then the gap from here till here this is 41 this is radius 10 then draw the line from here normal just like this go for mirror with this reference now trim this portion this portion this side and this side now from here till here this is 43 and this side is also done now once this is done now the center portion so i'll just hide these two and then i will draw a line i'll start like this and then from here till here switch on dimension so from here till here this is 19 and then from here till here this is also 19 now add some arc one is here just like this another one is here make it tangent this should be tangent with this and this should be tangent with this same way this should be tangent with this and this should be tangent with this delete segment remove this segment and this segment now the dimension so this is radius 50 and this is 40 delete this constant this is unwanted constant now this is radius 40 same with this side add some arc now to avoid this equal constant just right click and right click same with this side right click and right click go to tangent make this tangent with this and this tangent with this same with this with this and this with this then go for delete segment and delete this segment and this segment now this is radius 40 and this is 30 So this complex sketch is done without much effort. Now the last thing is one slot. So go to the palette, 
shapes rack track place here close it drag it somewhere here now this scale you make it 18 and say okay switch on the dimensions and this is 175 make it symmetry this point and this point symmetry with this so your sketch is completely done now just say okay now using this sketch i will add all the features and for that i'll use sketch region so I'll select this region and this region and I'll go for extrude, make it symmetry and the thickness is 15, say ok. This is done, now next region is this one, once again go to extrude, make it 8 and symmetry. Say ok. Now the last region is this one. So select it and go for extrude. Once again symmetry and make it 4 and say ok. I will just hide the sketch. Now add round somewhere here make it 1.5 hold the control key select this edge then this edge and this edge say ok one more time go to round this time you take value as 2 select this edge and this edge, say ok. Again round, this time you select this inner edge and inner edge, say ok. Now at last, I will go for auto round and I will say ok. And your part is done. Now, if you apply some appearance, your part will look like this. Now, to create this part, I have used this drawing. So, if you see this dimension, this is 41, this gap and this is 46. So, if you see this chart, 41 and 46, this is the gap. That means, this is used for M27 and M30. So, this spanner is for M27 and M30. So, that is it from this video. So, this is how we use sketch region to create this kind of part and I hope this video will be helpful. Now, you can like this video if you find this video helpful and I will see you in my next video. Thank you.